Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. What recent reports has he received supporting the government's economic programme? Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, earlier this month, credit rating agency Fitch confirmed that it had revised New Zealand's AA credit rating outlook from stable to positive. This indicates the credit rating's likely direction over the next year or two. Fitch said the government's fiscal consolidation and track to surplus in 2014-15 are increasing the resilience of New Zealand's sovereign credit profile. And it noted the government has a credible plan to lift fiscal surpluses in the years ahead and reduce net core crown debt to 20 per cent of GDP by 2020. Fitch also said New Zealand's economic policy framework, business environment and standards of governance ranked among the world's strongest from a credit perspective and warranted high-grade sovereign ratings. Supplementary question, John Hayes. In confirming the positive outlook for New Zealand's credit rating, what did Fitch ratings say about New Zealand's current and future economic growth prospects? Honourable Speaker, Bill it uh, noted that New Zealand's macroeconomic record on prospects are supporting its credit rating. It said real GDP grew by 2.7% in 2013 and is expected to increase to 3.8% in 2014. Uh, this will be supported, among other factors, by reconstruction in Canterbury, uh, dairy prices which have moderated but are still at elevated levels, and a house-building house catch-up. Fitch noted that while New Zealand's average real GDP growth over the past five years at 1.6 per cent is lower than the median among AA-rated countries, it was less volatile and higher than the 1.2 per cent median growth rate among AAA-rated countries. Supplementary question, John Hayes. What other factors did Fitch Ratings note with respect to its positive ratings outlook for New Zealand? Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, one of the factors Fitch noted was New Zealand's historical vulnerability around high net external debt and persistent current account deficits. I'm pleased to report that both of these indicators have improved significantly in recent years. For example, the unadjusted current account balance in the March quarter was a surplus of $1.4 billion, the largest dollar surplus ever, ever recorded, and the annual 2.8 per cent deficit is well under half the deficits of around 7 per cent of GDP in the three years to 2008. So our net international liability position has improved. It was 65 per cent of GDP in March this year, well down from a recent peak of 85 per cent of GDP in early 2009. Uh, supplementary question, question, John Mr. Hayes. Speaker, what other reports has he received about the state of the New Zealand economy? Honourable Bill English. <laughs> Mr Speaker, I have seen one report claiming that government debt is larger as a percentage of GDP than New Zealand had during World War II. This is completely false. Gross government debt is currently around 35 per cent of GDP. At the end of World War II, it was around 150 per cent of GDP. Uh, David Cunliffe has again completely misled order, New Zealand. Order, order, order. No worry, to be an apology, sir. Order. That's right. Question number four, Honourable oh, David Parker. Order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. Does he agree that there are growing gaps among the